All right, guys, I want to give you a quick rundown for absolute values, okay? The idea of absolute values is I'm going to put a couple of straight pipes around some variable or some number. Let me start with a variable just because I think you guys can take it. So this thing's a function, right? And this is going to take a number x and it's going to turn it into another number. And this, this is not a super hard function. All it does is ask this little question. It asks, how far from zero is x? The answer to that is what the absolute value of x is. So, for instance, if I told you that we were going to take absolute value of negative 6, you'd ask, OK, how far from 0 is the number negative 6? So I might go out, I might put 0 on a number line, I might find negative 6, and I might think to myself, OK, what's this distance? That distance there is the absolute value of negative 6. And I think you guys can all count enough to realize that that's 6 units, right? So all this thing does is it strips the negatives off, makes stuff positive. Okay? That's all there is. Now, of course, this being math, we've decided to make things more complicated. So this is how it takes numbers, right? It just strips the negatives off. But what if I knew that the absolute value of x was 6? What are my options? Well, one of them I just found out, right? So an option is that x is negative 6, right? The other option is that x is 6, right? Remember, what I'm doing is I'm saying, OK, x, right? How far is x from 0? And the answer was apparently 6. So here's 0, and there's two things that are 6 units away from 0. Right? There's minus 6 over here and 6 over there. So I get these two answers, right? So either x is negative 6 or x is positive 6. Cool? All right. Should we scale it up one? I think we can scale it up one quick. So what if I had not an equality, but inequality? So what if I asked you to solve absolute value of x is smaller than 3. Okay? So I'm going to think to myself, okay, hmm, if the absolute value of x is less than 3, that means it's closer to 0 than 3 is. Okay? So that either means it's, on the one hand, x is bigger than negative 3, and on the other hand, x is smaller than regular 3, right? Right? It's closer to 0 than 3. So it's either this or it's that. And really, it's got to be and both of these, right? It's got to be both bigger than negative 3 and smaller than regular 3. I think I could write that this way. And then I think I could write an inner, or a number line, right? Maybe a number line would have been a good spot to start, right? Because I could say, hey, from zero, you're only allowed to go three out. So that means you got to be within these fences. So there's my stuff. Open dots, right? Because I don't have an equal sign under here. And then what else? Let's see, I have inequality, I have number line, I think I need maybe interval. So we're going to start at negative 3. We're going to go up to 3. Both sides are open because there is an equality here because there is an equality there. Cool?